say I'm logged in here as an administrator, so I have access to see and do everything in the system. And the first thing that I'd like to show you is our business service monitoring, BSM. This is one of the key parts of functionality uh, that our customers derive value from. And that's because it brings monitoring up to a much higher level than just the simple up, down or status views uh, that you might be used to with more traditional monitoring. What we're looking at here is six different business services that have been defined. Uh, they can be absolutely anything that you like. So they can be made up of purely network devices, a mix of servers and network, could be entirely on-prem, hybrid, in the cloud, doesn't make any difference. They're all just monitored objects, if you like, that have been brought together uh, into these different services. We can see at a glance whether or not that service is online. So without needing to understand how that service is put together, which devices uh, are used to provide that functionality, we can just at a glance see everything here is online. Although we can see with this red outline to the payroll cube there, we can see there is an issue in there. It's just not currently a service impacting issue. Um, so something that needs to be dealt with, but perhaps not urgently, maybe something that wouldn't uh, result in a call out, out of hours or, or something similar. So if I drill into this e-commerce service as an example, you'll be able to see how that service is made up. So on the right hand side here, we have what we call components. So these are different layers of functionality, if you like, that are making up that overall e-commerce business service. Within each component, you'll see that we've got a number of dots, which are the number of servers or devices that are being uh, used to provide that that functionality. So in this case, we can see we've got two application servers, which are these two Tomcat machines. And then we can drill one layer further uh, and we can see all the services that we're concerned about for this business service. So we might be monitoring lots of other things about this particular host, but these are the things that we care about for knowing whether this service is online. And these servers can perhaps provide multiple services. So just because you see these Tomcat servers in this business service doesn't mean that they can't also be used for other services as well. And the idea behind this is that if the Tomcat server is to have uh, an issue, that will then affect all of the business services that run on it. So you'll be able to see the impact of that failure very quickly. So this adds a lot of extra value on top of the traditional uh, single service sort of monitoring um, and, uh, and makes it a lot easier to understand the impact of problems. And the same is true uh, of the other components. So we've just looked at the Tomcat machines, but we've also got uh, the MySQL servers here providing the database backend. Uh, so by expanding those two separate systems, you can see we've got the same checks being monitored on the two different devices. In this case, it's specific to MySQL. So we're not looking at OS metrics and, and performance and so on. Uh, we're just looking at the MySQL performance and making sure that that is where it needs to be. If we then go back up to uh, our business service view here and maybe look at payroll so we can see what's going on there. As I mentioned, you were able to see from that top view that there was uh, some kind of problem in there, although not currently service impacting. So let's take a look and, and see what that problem is. So again, at the top level here, payroll, we can see does have an issue with that red outline around the green cube. That's obviously coming from the application cluster here. So we can expand that and see one of the four hosts is experiencing an issue. That could be because of just a single service on there that's failing, and hence it's not providing the functionality needed for the application server. Uh, or it could be that the whole system is down. And in this case, that's exactly what's going on. The whole system is offline, so all the checks are in a critical state. The reason that this hasn't marked the whole service has failed, however, is because of what we call the availability zone. So you can see here that three out of the four servers have that gray shading across them. And that's where we've said we need 75% of these application servers to be online, to be fully functional uh, for the service to be correctly operational. So in this case, because we've only had one of those four, 25% of our pool of servers uh, failed, that's still within our 75% remaining online functioning correctly. And so it's a problem, but it's not a service impacting problem. If another one of these systems were to have a critical issue, that would then drop us below the 75% threshold, and then that would roll up to a top level service failure. And you would see this availability percentage start to reduce because we're showing you a live 24 hour availability percentage. So you can immediately see the impact of any outages that you might be having. So in terms of workflows, it's really easy to see what's going on and drive down to the, the impact of any particular failure, uh, the root cause of any failure. So at a glance here, I was immediately able to say, I know I've got an issue with payroll. I can click on that and see it's coming from my application cluster. Another click, and there we are, 
there's my failed host and failed services underneath it. So a really quick way of identifying what's going on. From here, I can also click on the service that's failed and click investigate, and that will take me through uh, to the detailed monitoring view, if you like, so I can understand the cause of that. And we can see here that this has failed because the host itself is down. So we immediately know it's a host failure, and that's the issue that we need to concern ourselves with. This view also shows us at a glance all of the different problems that are on that host. Again, in this case, because the whole host is down, all the services have failed. Uh, and you can see here that the Solaris host is marked as down. So lots of extra value to be derived from BSM. And one of the nice things about our roles is that you're able to give your users access to log in and see specific business services. And perhaps they're not allowed to see the detail of what's behind those services, the individual hosts and checks that we're running. Uh, but they'll just be able to see whether or not a particular system is online and, and fully operational. This information is also available through our REST API, which uh, covers the whole product. So you're able to get status information out from the API. And so potentially you could extract that information and render it perhaps on a public portal somewhere. Um, some universities choose to do this uh, so that they can immediately show a view to staff, students and so on, uh, how their particular services are running uh, without having to give them access directly into our product.